welcome back to my channel you guys i am making um burgers with gravy and rice mashed potatoes i think mashed potatoes some idaho idaho mashed potatoes so first we are going to go over the ingredients for this dinner okay the ingredients y'all i got my scarf on but wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute oh my hair is dead, honey. The, the edges are laid. The Indianism is here. Do y'all see it? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ain't no nappy nowhere in sight. Got this neck, I shaped this neck up because it was looking like a little giraffe's butt. So, we got that under control. So my pan is heating up. These are the ingredients that we're gonna need. I don't have no earrings and no makeup, y'all. I got a little boo-boo over here where the mask broke me out. But we moving on in this video. Yes, we are. So, once again, we are making Burgers with gravy and onions and mashed potatoes. That's what we're doing today. So these are the ingredients that I'm using and let's check it out. I am using one egg. I am using one pack of Lipton onion soup mix, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of seasonal, paprika, sweet Vidalia onions that's pre-cut. I'm gonna cut them more. Some heavy whipping cream just for my gravy. One pack of ground turkey because ground beef makes me sick, really sick. And um, that's basically it. And of course this, well I only need one because that's the family size, I just noticed that. So I'll be using one pack of these Idaho roasted potatoes. I really don't like those. Um, Lisa likes those so I'll go ahead and cook them for her. But yeah, so let's get started. I'm gonna set you guys up and you'll be watching me do everything from the side because I don't have my tripod down here. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can set y'all up a certain way, about right there, so y'all can see everything, yes. We're gonna get started. I'm gonna leave this one out and put this one up. That's what the game plan is. I got my little mini trash bag right here hanging on the counter and we are gonna get started. First thing I need, to do we're gonna work on our vegetables first oh don't let that egg get away we're gonna work on our vegetables first because we want to get those sauteed first because we're gonna add those back in so i need to find some butter don't get scared i'm right here trying to get some butter the kind of butter that i like to use is the smart balance i like that kind so my pan is hot. I need to add something in there before it starts burning. So we're gonna use about a teaspoon of butter. And I have pre-washed my hands before I started the video, so don't come for me in the comments, you guys. I might end up making a smaller pack of um, I may make the smaller pack. I'm just getting my butter to melt. The pot is already hot. This is my non-stick frying pan. I have numerous frying pans. Maybe one day I'll do a video about that. But I have numerous frying pans. I have my heat like on, on five. So I'm gonna start pre-slicing all of these into wedges, I believe. Once again, this is the sweet Vidalia onion. Onions make your food, certain onions make your food taste a little different okay and just to let y'all know I'm vicious with a knife I do have experience I don't mean the violent way either before some of y'all say something slick I just know how to use a knife really good concentration and getting them fingers out the way because you ain't got no you don't have no finger green bay to cook nothing. Sure. When y'all was playing on the sidewalk, I was learning how to cook. No shade though, no shade. There we go. I like to cut them like this. Okay. You cut the onion a certain way. You can get that. If you cut the belly button off before you cut the onion, 
you're gonna cry literally you're gonna cry so and i think that's all the onions i need because to me that's enough if i continue to chop i'm not gonna have any more friends so this is how i put my onions in that one right there my kitchen has been pre-sanitized with bleach and i'm gonna make a bleach water in a minute so you don't need to season your onions because the gravy is going to season the onions for you so let me grab a wooden spatula wooden spoon is what i used to start with and you're going to let these cook until they are brown in the meantime i am going to begin to mix my meat okay so i need that I need to grab some Worcestershire sauce, some A1. I got some measuring spoons, cute little measuring spoons. Okay, measuring spoons. I am gonna use about one tablespoon of each one inside of my meat. Let me shake it up because when you don't, look at the bottom. See that? It's important that you shake up your Worcestershire sauce because if you don't, you're not going to get everything that you are supposed to have inside of the sauce. So, pop this open. Fill it up. One tablespoon. Dump it in. And for this one, I'm only going to use a half a tablespoon of A1 sauce, if it's any in here. Cause I think we down at the bottom. So let's see what comes out. There we have it. Don't need but a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead, cause the ancestors said do two. Okay, so that's two. Now. Here's another trick that I did. Broth. Do I have broth? Probably not. I thought I bought some in the cabinet. Let me check my cabinet and see if I have any broth. And I don't. I'm out of broth. That's fine. Put this back. I'm cooking my onions on low heat really really low I'll let you guys see what they look like once they start turning brown put that to the side I'm gonna crack an egg okay crack the egg I'll leave my trash can open so when I need to throw something in there I can And I'm going to whisk. I'm going to whisk the old-fashioned way, like how they did it before we had a whisk. The fork. And I'm just going to whisk this. <laughs> right? And I am going to drain my juice. Okay. So it's only a little bit in there. That in there like that. This one's it comes time to get dirty. Here's my little trash can right here. A pack of Lipton onion soup mix. Okay. Put that in there. Going to add some seasonings. Paprika. Not a lot. Pepper. Go easy on this because this gives me a headache. 
garlic powder, onion powder, and that's it. And this is where I have to get dirty. So let me wash my hands in front of y'all so y'all can see that I'm being clean. Washing them. Make me twerk it to sink, y'all. I'm not going to, though. I'm not going to do that. Save that for another video. I have my, my hand towel. And now I'm going to get dirty and I'm going to have to mix this up really good. Really good until you don't see any of the mixture. It's about to be bomb, y'all. I'm going to show y'all how it's looking. Okay. I washed the gather, so I'm going to do one teaspoon of, no, not one teaspoon one tablespoon of um, breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs kind of hold it together. On steady hand, and there you have a tablespoon. Okay. My onions are slowly browning. I'm gonna put my whipping cream back in until I'm ready to use it. I don't need a whole lot of it. And I'm going to use the spoon to mix this in because I don't feel like getting my hands dirty again. And I probably will have to get my hands dirty because flies in too early. And I am going to wipe this out. And I am going to spray this down some olive oil because I'm about to pop this in the oven. Bake, start. Are we going to bake these? You know what? No, I'm not baking. I'm not going to bake them. I'm going to do them the old-fashioned way. I don't feel like baking them. So, let me take my onions out because I'm going to need them again eventually. So, I am going to put my onions in. I can use the same bowl it like that put my leftover onions that I'm not using I probably can oh no y'all remember when Julia Child dropped that um turkey on the floor and picked it up back in the 80s I dropped something but I ain't picking that up all right so this will go back in the fridge I don't know where I dropped it at but I can't worry about it now okay so I'm gonna take this my onions are pre-cooked if you look at them they're just soft some of them are brown, but not overly brown. I just wanted to loosen them up a bit. Make sure I get all of them out. And look, if y'all, if you guys don't have a nonstick pan, invest in one. It's one of the best investments that you can ever have because you don't have to add a whole lot to them. So, I'll turn my pan down low. I'm gonna spray my can, my pan with some Carlini olive oil. I use a lot of olive oil. Okay. And I am going to begin to put my cooked onions on the side. I am going to begin to shape my patties. I'm going to shape them. Shape them up really good. And how I normally do it is I take a little bit in my hand like this. And I shape them into circles. Now, they can be big or they can be small. If they're big, they're going to shrink anyway. So, it's one. Okay. I'm using ground turkey. Once again, you can use ground turkey or you can use ground beef. Ground beef makes me sick. I don't know why. Probably because I don't eat it all the time and I've been eating more ground beef than tur ground, more ground turkey than ground beef. So I kind of stay away from it. 
So anything that makes me feel funny or makes me feel sick, I don't buy it. So I have a bunch of the little tubes of ground beef, I mean ground turkey in my freezer. So when I make lasagna, I use ground turkey. Works out better for me. Right? I might be able to get five or six of these out. I don't know, we'll see. My mother used to make this for us all the time when we were when we were young and some of the neighborhood kids would want to eat with us and we didn't understand what the fascination was about it but I get it now <laughs> let's just say that okay and if I'm not mistaken I think I might be able to make six so we're gonna see how this goes And I can get all six of them in there at a time. Let them slow cook. You notice I didn't wash the pan. I let the flavor of the onions and added a little olive oil in there. Okay, last one. Last one. There we go. Now, time for clean up. As you cook, you clean up as you go along. And that's, I don't like anything greasy. So we're gonna use a paper towel to catch all grease that comes from the burgers. Even though we're gonna add them back in there. I'm gonna turn my burgers up because they cooking slow. So I'll turn it up to about, these are the ones that I'm making. So I'm gonna stop the video here because I'm gonna to have to cut this video down. So I'm stopping it here. Okay, y'all, so my burgers are browning, as you can see on one side. And as soon as they're done, I'll be taking them out, adding the onions and the milk and flour, whipping cream and flour, and we'll see how it comes out. So I'm going to log back in. Okay, you guys. So this is my gravy and the meat back in the gravy. I'm letting it simmer. And I'm about to turn it on low heat so it can simmer real good. And then I'll check back in and show you guys the finished product. Gravy and the meat back in the gravy. I'm letting it simmer. And I'm about to turn it on low heat so it can simmer real good. And then I'll check back in and show you guys the finished product. Okay, you guys, so dinner is complete. I'm gonna show you what it looks like because some of it's still simmering. And matter of fact, I'm gonna turn it down. So this is the finished plate. Some of it's still cooking. Just something simple. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll give you a close up of what it looks like. And that's it, you guys. That's dinner for today, Sunday's dinner. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment. You can't leave a comment on this video because comments won't be disabled. This is a video for everybody to watch. I'll explain that to you in another video. So, thanks for coming back. Bye.